Do you remember that moment when a dazzling starburst of charisma and talent first graced your screen? When you found yourself spellbound by a presence so magnetic, it was as though the very essence of Hollywood had taken human form. If you're like many, your earliest recognition of Diane Cannon was a moment etched in the vivid tapestry of your cinematic memories, a moment when her luminous presence left an indelible mark on your heart. As we embark on this journey through the life and career of the inimitable Diane Cannon, let's delve into some intriguing facets of her life and artistry that might have escaped your notice. From her incredible range as an actress to her multifaceted talents behind the camera, Diane Cannon is a force of nature in the world of entertainment. A woman whose brilliance shines as brightly today as it did during those unforgettable early moments when she first captured our attention. So, fasten your seatbelts, dear readers, as we navigate the captivating universe of Diane Cannon, uncovering the random facts and fascinating anecdotes that paint a portrait of a true Hollywood legend. Diane Cannon, a cinematic icon in the glittering constellation of Hollywood stars, Diane Cannon's name sparkles like a rare gem, her life and career illuminated by her extraordinary talents and charismatic presence. Born Samuel Diane Friesen on January 4, 1937, in Tacoma, Washington, her journey from a small-town girl to a cinematic sensation is a tale of grit, determination, and raw talent. Diane Cannon's early life was a testament to her resilience. Raised by a single mother, she faced economic hardship and adversity with grace. Her escape from the challenges of her youth was through acting, a passion she pursued relentlessly. She took on numerous small roles on television and in films, gradually gaining recognition for her undeniable talent. One of the lesser known facts about Cannon's career is her early brush with legendary filmmaker Orson Welles. She appeared in his film The Trial, a surreal adaptation of Franz Kafka's novel, where she played a minor yet memorable role. Her interaction with Welles was a pivotal moment in her career, as it provided her with valuable insights into the world of cinema. However, it was her role in the film Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice that catapulted her into stardom. Her portrayal of Alice Henderson, a character grappling with the complexities of open marriage, earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. It was a groundbreaking film that explored the changing dynamics of relationships in the tumultuous 1960s. Cannon's allure wasn't just confined to her acting abilities, she was also a trailblazer in the male-dominated industry. In 1971, she became the second woman to direct, produce, and write a major studio film with The End of Innocence. This milestone achievement showcased her multifaceted talent and her commitment to pushing boundaries in an industry not always welcoming to female filmmakers. Throughout her career, Cannon continued to shine in various roles, earning critical acclaim and adoration from fans. Her magnetic presence graced the screen in films like Heaven Can Wait, where she played opposite Warren Beatty and Death Trap, a thrilling comedy mystery in which she shared the screen with Michael Caine and Christopher Reeve. In addition to her success in film, Diane Cannon was a gifted writer. She penned an intimate memoir, Dear Carrie, My Life with Carrie Grant, shedding light on her tumultuous marriage to the legendary actor. Her candid and touching account provided a unique glimpse into the life of one of Hollywood's most iconic couples. As the years passed, Diane Cannon continued to be an enigmatic presence in the entertainment industry, with a career spanning over six decades. Her dedication to her craft, her ability to portray complex characters, and her indomitable spirit made her a true Hollywood legend. In conclusion, Diane Cannon's life and career are a testament to the power of talent, resilience, and determination. From her humble beginnings to her rise as a cinematic icon, she left an indelible mark on Hollywood, both as an actress and a filmmaker. Her journey inspires countless aspiring artists to follow their dreams and push the boundaries of what's possible in the world of entertainment. The entertainment. The entertainment. Diane Cannon, the accomplished actress known for her roles in classic films, had an interesting journey in her career. One notable fact is her decision not to undergo a nose job early in her career. When she contemplated getting the procedure, a doctor reassured her, saying she had a beautiful nose and didn't need any alterations. This advice led Cannon to embrace her natural appearance and forego the nose job. Another intriguing moment in Cannon's career was her nervousness about the famous bedroom scene in the 1969 film Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. In this scene, all four participants were said to be quite jittery. 
Elliot Good kept himself busy by stuffing food in his mouth. Robert Culp talked rapidly, and Natalie Wood initially refused to come out of her trailer. This behind-the-scenes insight reveals the anxieties that can accompany even the most seasoned actors. Furthermore, Diane Cannon was often considered one of the most dedicated fans of the Los Angeles Lakers, rivaling the fame of Jack Nicholson in her support for the team. Her passion for basketball and her courtside presence at Lakers games solidified her status as a die-hard fan, earning her recognition as one of the most prominent celebrity supporters of the team. Diane Cannon's career and personal life have been marked by interesting and unexpected moments, from her decision to embrace her natural appearance to the nerves she and her co-stars experienced during a famous film scene. Her dedication to the Lakers also showcased her passion beyond the silver screen. Diane Cannon is known for various aspects of her life, and one of the lesser known facts is her family connection to jazz bassist Dave Friesen. She is his older sister, though this relationship isn't widely discussed in the public eye. Additionally, an intriguing fact about Diane Cannon is her daughter Jennifer Grant's birth. Both Diane Cannon and Cary Grant's daughter, Jennifer Grant, weighed only 4.5 pounds at birth. Jennifer was born seven months after Diane Cannon and Cary Grant's wedding adding a unique twist to their family history. Lastly, in her high school years, Diane Cannon had the nickname Frosty. This simple yet amusing tidbit offers a glimpse into her earlier life before fame. In conclusion, Diane Cannon's life is dotted with interesting facts, from her familial ties to jazz bassist Dave Friesen to the unique circumstances surrounding her daughter Jennifer's birth, and even her high school nickname Frosty. These facts add depth to her public persona and provide a window into her personal history. Diane Cannon, a notable figure in Hollywood, has her share of interesting facts. One such fact revolves around her second husband, Stanley Finberg. Finberg was a real estate mogul who also had a taste for the film industry. He executive produced Cannon's movie The End of Innocence in 1990. This film marked their collaboration in both personal and professional spheres. Another noteworthy point in Cannon's journey to stardom is how she was discovered. It happened during a seemingly ordinary lunch on the Sunset Strip, not through auditions or casting calls, which is more typical in Hollywood. This chance encounter eventually set her on the path to a successful acting career. Cary Grant, a legendary Hollywood actor, played a pivotal role in Diane Cannon's life. He first noticed her while watching a television series in 1961. At that time, Cannon was already a 24-year-old television veteran. Their connection deepened, and they began living together in 1963, marking the start of a significant chapter in both of their lives. These facts shed light on some intriguing aspects of Diane Cannon's life and career, from her collaborations in the film industry to her chance discovery on the Sunset Strip and her relationship with a Hollywood icon like Cary Grant. Diane Cannon, the renowned actress, is known for several intriguing facts about her life and career. One notable fact is that she acquired her stage name from the producer Jerry Wald. He saw something explosive in her and suggested the name Diane. Later, she added an extra end to it when she read a notice about herself written that way in Rome's celebrity news, and she liked it. Another interesting detail about Diane Cannon is her love for basketball. She was always spotted courtside at Los Angeles Lakers' home basketball games, showing her passion for the sport and her support for the team. Furthermore, Diane Cannon received recognition for her talents in the film industry. In 1973, she was named Female Star of the Year by the National Association of Theater Owners, a testament to her remarkable performances. Additionally, in 1979, the Hollywood Women's Press Club also honored her with the title of Female Star of the Year, further cementing her status as a respected actress in Hollywood. These facts shed light on the intriguing life of Diane Cannon. From the origin of her stage name to her dedication to the Lakers and her well-deserved accolades in the film industry. 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 Diane Cannon, the renowned actress known for her roles in Hollywood, has a lesser-known side to her life that's worth mentioning. While there isn't substantial information available about her commitment to Christianity leading to Bible study meetings, one interesting fact about her is that she attended the University of Washington in Seattle, but didn't graduate. Cannon's time at the University of Washington provides a glimpse into her early life before she found fame in the entertainment industry. 
Although she didn't complete her degree, her journey eventually led her to a successful acting career. In addition to her career achievements, Diane Cannon is also a grandmother. She has two grandchildren, Carrie Benjamin Grant, born on the 12th of August 2008, and Davian Adele Grant, born on the 23rd of November 2011. These personal details shed light on the actress' family life outside of the spotlight. While Diane Cannon may be best known for her acting talent, these facts offer a glimpse into her personal and academic life, adding depth to her public persona. Public persona. Public per As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to pause and reflect on the indelible mark left by the remarkable Diane Cannon. Her luminous talent has graced the silver screen, imprinting our hearts with moments that linger like cherished memories. Perhaps you recall her captivating presence in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, a film that explored the complexities of human relationships, where she effortlessly portrayed a character that resonated with our own desires and vulnerabilities. Or maybe it's her magnetic charm in Heaven Can Wait, where her grace and charisma elevated the film to timeless heights. Diane Cannon's performances have been a mirror to our own experiences, a conduit for understanding the intricacies of love, laughter, and life. Her dedication to her craft has inspired generations, and her ability to breathe life into characters has left an indomitable legacy in the world of entertainment. Now, it's your turn. Share with us your most cherished memories, your fondest thoughts about the roles that have touched your heart. Let the echoes of Diane Cannon's talent reverberate in our shared appreciation for the art of storytelling. In closing, we express our heartfelt gratitude for Diane Cannon's profound impact on the world of entertainment. Thank you for joining us on this journey, for your time, and for your unwavering interest in celebrating the artistry of a true luminary. Luminary. Luminary.